So this is the almost completed crucible furnace. Um, we've got a steel pipe coming into the chamber here. Um, and it's at the bottom of the chamber, it's tangent to the inside cavity. And then we've got a, an exhaust here, also tangent. Um, we have gas running through a copper tube. Uh, we've basically got a 90 degree bend that goes um, down into the, into the stem. We've got a propane valve that we took here and we just drilled it out so we could get more flow. We weren't able to get the gas flow high enough or the airflow from this um, used hair dryer low enough to get a good mix. So what we were doing is we were just basically piping it down this tube and separating it and that didn't work very well. So we made a uh, essentially a butterfly valve. So here, let me take over. So we've got, um, it's just something I drew and, and 3D printed. Um, we've, got a, we've got the valve here, and we've got some detents, and it's not glued together yet, so it probably will fall apart, but um, as you rotate the valve, you change how much airflow. As you rotate the valve, you change how much airflow goes down the stem. And obviously any extra just gets blown out these side holes. And hopefully this should give us enough control uh, so we can change the amount of airflow and uh, just do basically maximum gas. Let's see if it works. We've got our blow dryer, um, blowing air down here. We've got our basically our butterfly valve. Um, air goes down the tube. 3D printed coupler, black pipe. Um, this comes into the inside chamber of this a tangent to this um, ID here. This is made from plaster Paris and sand uh, mixed. I think it was. I think I did like 50/50 by volume. Um, it's just a regular paint can. This is the exhaust. We've got a lid here, so you can see down in the chamber. Um, I guess it's also also an exhaust. Um, and then we've got just some strapping. Got in an auto store. For the gas, we've got um, a standard propane connector, drilled out, held together with hose clamps and a couple pieces of uh, tubing, rubber tubing. And then we've got our copper gas pipe here, it's bent at a 90, it's going in here. This nasty looking thing is kind of just, I guess, a strain relief. Um, this is only held in by solder, so it was weak. So we just kind of added this to buff to beef it up. And we'll see if it works. So I've had it run in for about 10 minutes. My uh, butterfly valve is set to pretty low flow. Um, it's smoking a lot. I think that's probably mostly steam because I've never actually baked this in. Um, so let's see here. We've got the intake pretty low, pretty low temperature, which is good. Um, We've got the exhaust here sitting at 240. If you look down in there, we can see a nice blue flame right at the end of the, uh, the intake. And if we do this, we get about 450 high. So I think this goes up to about uh, 500, 500 C, and it maxes out pretty quick. Um, so I'll have to get a better one to know actually how high it is in there, but I'll show you again here. Yep. So 
418 high. So there it is. Um, I don't actually have a crucible yet to burn anything, but we'll see what happens.